What's up guys? I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. And we're back with another craft brew review. Today we are working with Stone Guys out of Escondido, California, if I remember correctly. I think I'm right. Um, this is the Viking Space Probe Double IPA. So this is of course a West Coast IPA from Stone. They've been doing this for many, many years. They usually execute beers with great precision, guys. So on the back we have a Hoppy Cosmic Nebula in the spirit of all the exploratory missions deployed across the galaxy be they spaceful viking or other we're constantly probing the world for beer back here on earth and da 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 they always have a long paragraph on the back we're not going to read the whole thing um but this is an unfiltered double ipa 8.5 percent i've had this beer for almost a month so it was literally canned on 1 8 um of last month so it's it's a month fresh still so it's solid it says enjoy by 5 7 20 so they're all about freshness um, what do you think of stone? Have you had any stones? I think you um, have. PLG you've had? Yeah, I like stone. I think a lot of theirs are more bitter. It's West Coast. Yeah, that yeah. I typically drink. Uh -huh. um, but I usually like a lot of their Enjoy By. Yeah, those are super mm -hmm. solid stuff. But that's, again, like pretty bitter. You know, the malt yeah. sometimes a little bit overpowerful for you. Yeah, for me. So, whatever, we're going to crack into it. I'll stop flapping my gums. We're just going standard glass. We're not getting fancy here today, guys. So we're pouring. Oh, she's hazy. Mm -hmm. She's pretty hazy. Has some nice color. What do you think it looks like? It's got a nice head on it, too, for real. You know that burnt orange. <laughs> it's not, not that joking. burnt orange. I know I call everything burnt orange. It, it actually has that. some of that, but I think it's more of like a golden crisp, like. Yeah sunset yellow kind of thing it's definitely like super hazy it's yeah it's not as much like orange juice as it i mean on yeah. camera it straight up looks like oj oh, actually a little bit yeah, darker it's probably a little bit darker than oj honestly it's got like yeah. a really compacted uh thick can't see it pinky and a half two pinkies of head super compacted actually um alcohol logs kind of sticking to the glass don soapy bubbling going on um yeah she looks pretty good yeah, it looks really good. It actually looks really tasty. So, again, 8.5%. Don't know the IBUs, but it's only a month old, so it should be good. So, let's mm -hmm. go for a nose if you can get one in there. It's, I probably shouldn't have poured it that deep. It's okay. Oh, it smells really good. smells good. It actually Fruity, smells like really, citrus, yeah, yeah. really juicy. It almost smells like it's going to be like M43 for a second, honestly. It really does. Mm -hmm. It's got that like chalky um, citrus kind of like um, New England style vibe to it. Yeah, it smells really good. Super fruity. I mean, wow. I actually didn't expect that at all from Stone. Mm -hmm. What would you say you're getting? Like, kind of, I get like sweet peaches. I get like cantaloupe thing. I get like mangoes, mm -hmm. pineapples. Like, kind of like a bready, kind of crackery thing on the front. Mm -hmm. Super light on the front. A um, little bit of malt, though, but let's go to a cheers. Cheese. See what we're working with. Viking Space Probe. Sure. Great name. There's some bitterness, but not crazy, crazy. Uh, if It's a big beer. It's 8.5%. But for people that like Old Nation beer, I'm only concerned that because you said it smelled like M43. For a second. It almost tastes like Cart Horse. So it's more bitter for that. Yes. You, those of you who don't know, Cart Horse is uh, from Old Nation. They have mm -hmm. um, their New England style specialties, but the Cart Horse, mm -hmm. they don't do that often. Usually a little bit more bitterness on the back and a little bit more malt bill to it. This one does have a thicker malt bill on the front. Probably a medium to yeah, halfway, medium and a half mouthfeel mm -hmm. thickness, viscous. Like, definitely like a little hot burn, a little yeah. ton of hot presence. There's and a it, lot, there's it a lot of hops in this. a little bit. There's yeah. bitterness on the back end. Um, it does kind of well round itself. It gets a little bit drier on the back end, but it is a tad sweet. There's probably a lot of malt in this because it's eight and a half. They have to drive it up. Mm hmm. So there's a lot of malt in this, but it actually is well-rounded. It goes into like this nice piney thing, um, yep. complemented with stone fruits, I would say, cantaloupe, peaches, what I was getting on the nose, a little bit of fruity, like grapefruit, orange thing. Yep, definitely grapefruit on it. Hint of floral, I would say, like just a little bit on that back end, a little bit of earthy floral. Mm -hmm. But what else do you think that's everything? <laughs> Smells pretty good, tastes pretty good. Eight and a half, yeah. pretty well hidden. There's probably just a little bit of like hot burn slash alcohol burn, just a like a tad. And it's actually for eight and a half percent, 
really well hidden for a New England style slash unfiltered, if you will. Uh, West yeah. Coast. It's a hybrid between like a West Coast and East Coast, but I'd say it's closer to the East Coast thing. Yeah, the front is really pleasant. Mm -hmm. I get a lot more of the hoppiness towards the, the back end of it. But yeah, super chewy. Um, just like a real nice sweet bread on this with a little bit of honey in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. We're going it's for ranking. Good. I know, I really enjoy this actually. It's really solid, but Stone really doesn't ever let us down to be quite honest. There's a few I don't like, but for an unfiltered double, this is really freaking solid. And I feel like these it's types good. of beers could be so dangerous because of it being so high percent. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. But that's like, again, you know, you have Boss Tweet, it's like 9.3% mm -hmm. or 9.4, whatever it is. So they're doing this. But I, we, we like lighter beers now. But this for being yeah. eight and a half, I really enjoy this one. Yeah, it's really good. So where are you, where are you putting the rating? I'll let you take it. Um, I'd probably say a 4.1. Really? Yeah. That's kind of where I, I was ballpark that I think I'm going to go four out of five. I think it's just a really solid offering from Stone. Um, yeah. It's not like blowing your socks off good, but it's really enjoyable. Like I play, but for it's me, really like, tasty. this is probably one of my favorite beers from Stone, just yeah. because it's a lot there. of theirs are m more bitter. For yeah, me. forget it. You know what? Like, let's go. I, I'm gonna go up. I, you swayed me, maybe a little bit. Sorry, but let's go four point one out of five. I think it's actually really solid offering. It's really good. It's pretty tasty. So yeah, I, I like what they're giving us here, and it's super fresh, which I like from Stone. They're keeping it. Um, by that enjoy by date, so and then they pull it. So yeah, this is a month fresh. It was really good. We're going four point one out of five, both of us. Um, that's where we're sitting with this one. Really tasty. You should try it. I think it's like ballpark uh, thirteen ninety nine for a six pack, something like that. So that's where you're sitting if you're going to get this one, guys. Um, I'm Dan. I'm Danny. And this has been another craft brew review. Thanks for joining us, guys. Please comment, subscribe. If not, thanks for joining us, anyways. See you guys on the next one. See ya. Cheers.